before before I present my our research, I let me introduce myself. And my name is Sandy Kosasi with my partner Fedianto and Idewa Ayu Egaliani. We are from Stili Pontianak, Kalimantan. Uh, my topic may be slightly different with the previous topic. My topic is a uh, focus on the maturity level, also in using IT governance, but I focus on COVID 4.1. Because I only want to know about the matured level in IT governance. I don't talk about the enterprise management and combined with IT governance. For you, uh, providing academic services should be planned systematically, structurally, and managed well. Availability of IT supports and services is a vital for management of higher education institutions. Apart from processing academic data, IT application portfolio are used to support duties of work units such as education, teaching, research, and community services. The complex of academics information needs make inconsistency and providing problem statement is without ownership of IT governance can guarantee effective and efficient performance of academic information services. Besides covering academic services, IT application for polio should fulfill expectation of schools to alignment, synchronization, and interoperability of information. The previous research about this topic, I click some journal. The use of IT providing academic information service more importance and more strategic in terms of conformity, reliability, and innovation of giving values of information to each school. Second, it also is direct communication among academics, lecturer, and students. The research questions. I want to point out what extent did get values of IT governance of IT application portfolios provide academic information services of schools and current expected condition. And the second, what recommendation models of new IT governance with expected maturity level could be given when providing academic information services of schools. The research aims to recognize gaps failures of IT governance existing currently and expected in the future. In addition, a new IT governance model providing an improving academic information services was recommended. And the uh, research method. The respondent of this research were 30 private schools existing in Pontiana. And this is uh, our population. A survey method was employed in each school. Three respondents were selected through a proposed sampling technique. The data were collected online. And measure level of idea of governance of IT application portfolio in providing academic information services were measured through COVID 4.1 framework. And the step of the data analysis first, I calculating the values, the maturity levels, and second, pro processing the value of the maturity level of each process. The third, calculating aggregation values of the maturity level through arithmetic means. And the last, the aggregation results were served in form of a table and graded graphic with Microsoft Office Excel software. This is a maturity level index model. I use the rounding scales and we can see it in a six level from the zero to five. And the competition of the mature level, I focus on the DS domain. We can see the table. Maybe I can explain uh, the number of the table. In almost all current maturity levels of DS processes are at level 3. It's defined processes. It means it's more than uh, 2.451 until 3.50. Uh, based on the calculated from the Microsoft Excel, this is Microsoft Excel, and you can see the current and the expected maturity level.
Oke, okay. uh, mature level value so we can see almost all current mature level of the S5 processes are at level 3 defined process. On the other hand, the S1, the S2, 9, and the S11 reach level 4, managed and measurable. The rest, the S5 and the S7, however, are at level 2. So these two process we have to uh, fix and we have to come uh, re-engineer and we have to build a more good process in some other higher locations. And game analysis 101, ownership of IT application portfolio has a completely satisfied availability and readiness of academic information processing in the areas of ensuring system security. Education and training for users become very critical factor for making the system fine. Weaknesses exist because not all users and staff can understand IT application portfolio of schools. Thought practice are formalized step of processes should be completed. And the implication for managerial, you can see identifying policies and procedures, changing performance indicator, fears and adding control objective are ways to improve every process until it fulfills good standardization of IT management. IT application portfolio should be able to provide continual services with minimal impact once interruptions, interruptions of IT services happens. And the new model for the DS5 and 7 we recommended model of IT governance of DS5 process start with the relationship between input control objective, combine other process, other domain, PO, plan organizing, PO2, PO3, PO9, acquire plan 2, and DS1. And output control objective, DS8, 7, MA1, EI6, PO9, and DS11. So if you want to make this model, we have to combine the other's domain. Meanwhile, the S7 process should be linked to input control objective, PO7, EI4, DS1, DS5, and DS8, and output control objective, ME1, and EI4. Conclusion of this research, the mature level of DS domain reflects that the use of IT application portfolio has not integrated fine and transparent IT governance. It is expected that DS5 and 7 processes can be improved to the next better levels. For next research, maybe we can continue. Of the IT governance for filing carrying information services, not just uh, calculated in using domain DS, we can combine the other domains like plan organizing, EI, MA, and monitor and evaluate. This is also just another study to inform respondents of external communities and process data with legal skills. This is for next research. Thank you. This is my research. Yes, thank you for the presentation. Now we go straight to the question and answer. Any any question from the audience? Anyone? Okay. Uh, maybe I have one. Uh, okay. You said that it was conducted on uh, high school, if I'm not mistaken. Higher education. Higher education. Okay. Uh, I remember the last question also from the pre previous presenter about. Um, if I don't really understand about the uh, COVID, but yeah. is it a fit for the for this uh, in, to get this conclusion from uh, using COVID for the higher education? Uh, not only you know, well, I see in Jakarta and around you are in Pontiana, I don't know. Okay, maybe I can explain a little bit. Uh, it have a slightly different actually COVID 4.1 and 5. I use COVID 4.1 because I only want to know about our higher education in Pontiana. Actually, uh, all of them not different in IT school, also including management and some kind of them. Uh, 
I focus on the the IT governance exactly. Exactly. I don't talk about the enterprise and management as a whole as an enterprise, uh, higher of higher education institutions. Uh, I collect data from Pontina because I wondering um, now is already IT era, maybe we call it digital era. But the 30 schools or higher education in Pontianak City, they, they already use the software or application or IT portfolios. But until now, they can't uh, make the, the very many one of the standard is, we call it accreditations. And most of them cannot, um, uh, cannot meet or reach uh, B accreditations. So I want to know uh, how can they arrange the IT portfolios uh, of each school or higher education. So I want to talk about the vision or missions from every university. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, okay. I think if I have no more question, give him applause. Thank you. Okay. So thank you very much.